Hey everybody, I'm going to show you how you can create automation in Trello that looks for duplicate cards on your board and then kind of merges them together. So this came from a user who asked me, they said, I'd be happy to see a video of you doing Trello automation about when a new card is added to a board, find its duplicate card name, update the new card with whatever's in the duplicate card, and then delete the old card. And so here's how I was able to figure out how to do this. Let's say I have a card called existing card. And in this existing card, I have, um, here is my description. And what I want to happen, copy this over, please. Um, what I want to happen is if I now make a new card that has the same name, existing card, I want to go find that old existing card, copy over that description, and then archive the old one. So for instance, you can now see, this is the one that I just created here. It has that description that's copied over. So we're good to go. Um, and if you want to see this in action, you can see this automation, click automation rules. I'm gonna show you exactly what the rule looks like, then I'll show you how we'll make it. So here's how it looks like. Basically, when a card is added to a board, look up a card titled card name. So you'll see here, this is a Butler variable. Um, automation variable is kind of what it's known as. You can learn more about it. I'll include a link in this video to the variables documentation, but basically this lets us reference something, a specific attribute from a given automation. And so in this case, we want to look up a card with the title of the card name of this card that is added here. And then we want to set the new card's description to the card that we found's description. And then we're gonna do something similar. We are going to find a card titled card name. This is different than looking up and I'll explain why in a second. And then we will archive that old card. So the difference between lookup and find, lookup is useful if you want to reference something, whereas find is useful if you want to then go do an action to it. And so in this case, we first want to reference something from a found card, which you can see we're doing here to set the description. But next we need to archive that card. So we actually wanna use find because the action that comes after that, the archive the card is what we want to do with the, um, with the, the new card that we've, we've found. So if we're actually building this, what we would do, I'm gonna to go to create automation, add trigger. And when a card is added to the board, that's our trigger because we want to look at every card. And then we're going to go over to this cascade section. And this is where you do things that um, I like to think of cascade as like it's going to impact other cards or items. And so you may do some things with checklist items or other cards here. But we're going to find a card title, card name. And again, this is a variable that you can reference. And if you want to change it to look up, you just click find and you can see there. And then I'll include a link to these docs, but you can see this here kind of reiterates what I said about the difference between finding and looking up. So click that plus sign. And next we're gonna add another action. We're gonna go to content and we want to set the card's description to found card description. And you don't have to, you could do this to anything, right? So I could include, you know, card name. I could, you know, find whatever I had found in the card. I could include that attribute. You can, like I said, learn more about what those are from here in the description. So set that to that. And now we're gonna add another action, go over here um, back to cascade. And this time we actually want to find the card with that because the next thing we add, we want to happen to the found card, not to this new one that was just created up here. So we're gonna add another action and you go to move and you just choose archive card, hit plus, And that is the rule. Um, make sure to click save when you're done. But yeah, when you do that, that's exactly what it's gonna do. So let's just uh, test this out one more time. Original and I'm gonna have Hi, this is my old description. And maybe I have blah over here, whatever. So now I'm gonna make a new rule or a new card, call it original. And they just kind of swap these. See, it went away. You can see this is the new one because I don't have the comment on here, but it still has that old description. And so it's basically kind of like merge those cards together. Um, so yeah, I hope this helps and uh, let me know what you think.